I'm Candace Peterson for WDSU TV. It may seem as if I'm standing in front of a bunch of meaningless rocks, but this site was actually the epicenter of Rome. This site is known as the Roman Forum. Let's take a look why this has become a tourist attraction for millions of people around the world. In the early days, this was the center of all activity in Rome, where everything took place as was the birthplace of the Senate and Republican government. The oldest and most important structures of the ancient city were located in or near the Roman Forum. The Forum became the economic hub of the city, as well as the center of the kingdom, republic, and empire. This humongous structure is the temple of Antonius and Faustina. Antonius built the temple in honor of his late wife Faustina. After the death of Antonius, it was later rededicated to both of them. The building stands on a high platform of large blocks. It was adapted into the church of San Lorenzo in Miranda. There is an inscription that reads, to the divine Antoninus and to the divine Faustina by decree of the Senate. This is the temple of Divas Ramulas. This was built in the 4th century AD. The building is mostly intact because it is an ancient church. The large, well-preserved bronze door is original. The temple was created by Emperor Maxentinus and was dedicated to his son Valerius Romulus, who died in 309. Not all of the temples in the Roman Forum are dedicated to gods. Some are dedicated to people. The Romans believed that by building a temple and dedicating it to themselves, they became a deity. Many of the Roman Forman temples date to the periods of the kingdoms and republic, although most was destroyed and rebuilt several times. The ruins within the Forum clearly show how urban spaces were used during the Roman age. This gigantic area is known as the Basilica Maximatius. This is the largest building in the Roman Forum. Emperor Maxentius started the construction, but after Constantine defeated him, he then completed it. The Basilica Maxentius is a marvel of Roman engineering work. At the time of construction, it was the largest structure to be built, and thus is a unique building taking both aspects from the Roman baths as well as a typical Roman basilica. At the time, it was used in the most advanced engineering techniques. With the decline of the Roman Empire, the Forum was used increasingly less. In the Middle Ages, it was filled with dirt and made into a meadow. Thus it became known as Campo Vecino or cow field in English. This is the House of Vestal Virgins. As soon as a girl became a Vestal Virgin, she would then move into the House of Vestal Virgins. It was a three-story, 50-room palace in the ancient Roman Forum, and it was built around an elegant atrium or court with a double pool. To the very east is an open vaulted hall with a statue of Numa, the mythological founder of the cult. Today remains the statues of Vestals that can be seen. I'm exhausted from all this walking, but it was still a great experience. Next time you come to Rome, make sure you visit the Roman Forum.